Tears and grief enveloped Masimba World Arising Church of Kenya. When three caskets bearing the remains of Letomir Topoika, a 33-year-old man, Stanley Ntidu, 42 years old, and Duncan Kanari, a 33-year-old man, arrived from Makindu Sub-County Hospital Mortuary for a requiem mass in the morning. <laughs> Former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, who was in attendance, urged the government to expedite investigations and ensure adequate compensation. He condemned the GSU officers for using excessive force on innocent demonstrators. <laughs> He took a swipe at environmentalists, charging them to pursue an amicable solution for those forced to live along the wildlife corridor. Reacting to the same environmental, CS Kiriako Tobiko said the government will compensate the victims and route for a long term solution. Kajado Governor Joseph Olelenku called for immediate eviction of individuals living at Olelian Wildlife Migration Route, faulting KWS for escalating human wildlife conflict that has resulted in deaths of innocent residents. That is the truth. Our relationship with KWS has been bad. KWS officers were denied a chance to address the emotional mourners condemning the officers for negligence to protect the wild animals. Wanjiro Minor for K24 Evening Edition.